it's him and squad back at again with another video here today man it's king of the packs episode 38 in the building man this was an interesting week of madden we got a lot of new packs not saying that they're good i'll go over all that in the video if you guys don't know what king of the packs is it's where i rank every coin and training pack in madden 23 kind of give you guys a better idea of what you guys should be pulling and what you guys should be passing up on and every time i put a pack onto the tier list i'm gonna show some of you guys' big banger pulls that you guys submitted to me on twitter post looks like this opens friday closes tuesday um just make sure you guys are all posting your pictures under the pack name in the comment section but we got a lot to get through today man so let's jump into it you guys know i have to say i say it in every video make sure you guys hit the like button right now hit the sub button if you haven't and also put on post notifications man join the od gang let up the comment section and let me know down below what is your king pack that's your go-to pack the pack you're having the most fun with the pack you're always pulling so let's get rid of the packs that aren't here anymore um, we'll just put strats in here too because we're not really pulling strats. Weekly wild cards are not here. Titanium collector's not here. Kind of shrinks down the bunch. I will say, I feel like I'm not going to rank game days, pro elites, elites, all that stuff because we know that those aren't in the game anymore. They've been replaced with the brand new ex super expensive bundle packs. But we do have submissions for these packs because they were, you know, open this week. So let's get into the pro game days, game days, elite and a pro. All right, y'all, for the game day packs, we have Pit 2177 and Azen 17. Both of some decent pulls right here. Pit actually had a 97 overall and 92 as a side biscuit. And Azen had a 96 overall redux. Not bad. From a game day pack, 28K, you can't really complain. Pit 2177 and Azen 17. You guys are king of the game days for the week and episode. Let's get to the next one. All right, y'all. So I was really surprised we did not have a pro game day submission, which that was my king pack last week. And I actually really liked that pack. And we also did not have an elite submission. So we're going right into pro elites. There were Mutt Rewards, so people might have got these from their Mutt Rewards. Ray Bryson, 99 overall. Rasul Douglas with a 93. Jay Fields on the side. Love to see it. And Snow Games 04, 99 overall. Jordan Love. I mean, gold 99s, man. You really love to see that. I do miss these packs and wish they would come back, but who knows if we'll see that. Ray Bryson and Snow Games 04. You guys are king of the pro elites for the week and episode. Love to see the 99s popping out. All right, so that does get rid of, you know, all of those packs. I'm really sad to see those packs go, and I hope that EA Sports brings them back in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if they are. The fact that they dropped the, all these new packs, I don't know what's going to happen to the old packs. I don't know what's going to happen to Stars or Pro Stars. Um, it, it sucks. That's all I'm going to say. It sucks because these were affordable packs, and I hope that we get them back, but with EA, you never know. So jump into backyard ballers i haven't touched the coin pack um i don't think it really matters where we put it i have not touched that coin pack like at all i actually don't think i've pulled a singular backyard baller coin pack um the training packs are also as well you know not really for me not really for me i don't know if you guys are really messing with these but personally there's nothing too crazy that wants me to get to pull these training packs. Again, the TVP, especially on last Saturday, was just an insane pack to be pulling. So, yeah, I wasn't messing with the Backyard Ballers at all. But we did have submissions for all three of these packs, so let's go check out the Backyard Baller submissions. Backyard Baller coin, man, we had SCS1072, 99 overall, Grady Jared. Delpin 84, 97 overall, Trey Lance, and a 94 Cole Command on the side. Don't forget that. W pulls right there. Yeah, I just did not feel like touching these. I felt like I was going to get my pockets ran. But SCS1072 and Delpin84, you guys are king of the backyard baller coin pack for the week and episode. Let's get to the training. The 92 plus Hootay King 17, 99 overall Joshua Allen right there. Not bad at all. Ah, yeah, dude. I just, I'm trying to think. I think from the 92 plus, I pulled the 99 the first day it came out, and I just never touched those things again, bro. They just weren't it for me. But Hootay King 17, you are king of the 92 plus of backyard baller training pack for the week and episode. Let's get to 94s. Almost the same. Well, actually, yeah, the same submission. Uh, Scraps 11, 99 overall, Joshua Allen from the 94 plus backyard bar. I guess this man was just popping out the training packs like it was his job. W right there, man. Scraps 11, you are king of the 94 plus backyard baller training pack for the week and episode. Let's keep moving. And we're going real quick here, man. It's a whole lot of do not pulls. I guess I could just put these in the, the garbage. 
except that I, I have actually never pulled this pack. I'm just going to put these ones in the garbage. I feel like putting everything in do not pull, it's like, there's no point in doing all of that. Um, let's see. Ultimate Legends. I'm going to put these at the top of the garbage can. I don't think they're horrible, but I also don't think that they're good. I feel like, you know, this is probably an okay coin pack to pull just with all the other ones that they have added. This might be an okay one, but this pack just never gives me new Ultimate Legends, man. I don't know what it is. It's just impossible to pull them for me. Um, shoot bro i kind of just want to rank everything i kind of just want to rank all these packs now let's just yeah let's just jump into all the rest of these so all the new packs the expensive packs the packs that are just going for absolute checks we'll go with the overtime um i don't like the overtimes i just i don't like them at all um i honestly think i'll put them below the ultimate legend i just feel like this pack is just atrocious as well as this counterpart the other expensive one, atrocious. They're just not for me at all. I probably won't, I probably will be pulling these this week, not the bundles, but yeah, man, these things just weren't good. I don't think they gave me one good pull from the coin pack. So I'm gonna leave those right there and let's get into the end games. I'm gonna say, I'll say these are. Mm, I'm going to say that this pack is just right below the Ultimate Legend. I'm actually put the Pro above the Ultimate Legend. I think this Pro pack actually wasn't horrible. Um, this pack did not give me anything. So, again, this week I'm probably going to do a coin pack opening comparing one of these two packs um, to each other. So, we will see. But, yeah, neither of the four packs that they added into the game this past you know week or so were good at all for me. So, I'm going to leave them all right there. Um, get a gold and TVP are the last two packs. Now, you guys know I have hated on the get a gold pack the entire year. It's just been a horrible pack. It's just not been fun. But the way that the market is in the way that how expensive packs are, this pack has actually not been a bad one. I pulled this on stream. I did it for a video. The first time in months since the beginning of the game that I actually opened this pack on stream and in a video. I'm going to move get a gold up to the decent category. I'm going to put TVPs actually into the king and this is my reasoning behind it. Like I said, get a gold, they're cheap. They're the cheapest pack in the game right now compared to the next cheapest coin pack in the game is literally what the game the overtimes i was gonna say the game days but i'm like it, it's the same thing game days overtime all the same thing um six what are it's like 67k i think something like that so that's the cheapest next cheapest pack bro i mean that's actually insane for end game mad and i know people are supposed to have coins but what about the people that don't have coins like it just doesn't make sense. So yeah, get a gold to moved up for me. I do like them. I probably will be opening those a little bit more often now. And TVPs. Now, people are going to be like, why is the TVP in the king? Why is it up there? It's horrible. It's not returning well. On Saturday, I'm going to be honest, was the most fun that I've had in Madden in a very long time. And this is why. I was opening the TVP on stream and I was barely losing at all. We had a roll in the TVP where we re-rolled 1.1 mil and training was around one to 1.1. I ended up getting back 2.2 million training on that roll. Now, on Saturday, when you were getting it for dirt cheap, it was not guaranteed profit. It was not a guaranteed break even, but I felt like it was the closest to like, you know, having fun in the TVP that we're probably gonna have for the rest of the year unless they add golden tickets to them. But yeah, Saturday was just a crazy time. I know a lot of people had really great openings on Saturday. Some people still didn't. But for me, I was on the side where the TVPs were actually really, really good. So that's why it's in the king pack for me. I was having so much fun with it. Get a gold's are next. I don't know if I'll ever be able to say that get a gold's the king, but until the market switches up, until maybe if golden tickets make the market rise, those other four packs are going to be sitting in the garbage until something changes. But let's get into submissions for all of the four new packs, the Get It Gold and the TVP. All right, so Xana had a 98 overall Patrick Peterson from the overtime pack. So the cheaper pack, he got a 98 Pat P. And I think Pat P was like 450. He was going for a lot. So again, that's a really good pull right there. Xana. You are king of the overtime pack for the week and episode. Love to see it. I don't think we actually had a pro overtime submission, so we're going right into the end games. End game submissions, man. We had C. Seto and Delpin84, 99 overall, and Quan right there. 
and 97 overall a Daxon Hill and these are from the baby elite packs you know the 80,000 coin ones so again not bad pulls right here you like to see that C subtle and Delpin 84 you guys are king of the end game elite packs for the week and episode Let's move to the big boys. These are some bangers right here, man. A13 Vince and Bell's Fin 17, both with double 99s, or both each had a 99 overall right there. Ricky Williams, Grady Jarrett, big banger pulls right there from the pro endgame. You love to see it. A13 Vince and Bell's Fin 17. You guys are king of the pro endgame elite packs for the week and episode. Let's move on. Gold plus, man. Snow Games 04 and NFL Super Fan. That Gus the bus, I think he was 450, 500. He was going for a good bit. Danny Dimes, I actually couldn't even find him on the auction block, but it's a 98 overall, so we can assume that he's going for a good bit. But Snow Games 04 and NFL Super Fan, you guys are king of the gold plus player packs for the week and episode. Let's get to the TVP. I think you guys kind of knew what was going to pop up right here, man. Chris McHugh and SCS1072, both with 99 Troy P's. I luckily was able to pull one of these and I think like 15 million training. But the one time that I did was that reroll where I literally dropped 1.1 million training, got back 2.2 million coins. So yeah, that was actually insane. But Chris McHugh and SCS1072, you guys are king of the TVP for the week and episode. Let's get to the top 10. All right, top 10 right here, man. Not much has changed. I think Pitt went up one, and I think that is the only thing that has changed here, man. Y'all are about to start losing some spots. And Bell's Fins Mud 17, if you are the same as Bell's Fins Mud and you just change your name, I've seen your name, like there's like three different Bell's Fins Muds in my ranking. Like DM me and let me know so we can like combine things. I don't really know if that's you or not, but let me know if it is. Let's get to the top five. And the top five, man, Delpin is still commanding lead. Snow Games went up two. Chris McHugh went up one. And that is all right there, man. Again, keep the submissions rolling. No, it's a tough time in Madden, man. I'm really hoping that the market switches up a little bit. You know, with the um, addition of golden tickets into the game, maybe the market goes up. I don't really know. We will see. I feel like Thursday should be a really good day in Madden, but... It's all up to EA Sports. You guys know this. But let's get back into the tier list. Yeah, so here's my tier list, man. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat stuff. Like, none of the packs are good right now. They just really aren't. With the market being the way it is, the TVP returning what it is, it's just not that good. And again, the TVP will probably not be at the top again unless training goes down a lot, which I don't think it is with golden tickets being in the game. I really don't know if it is. Um, hopefully you guys invested in some training for Thursday because we also have that other promo that's coming with the theme team. So there's a whole lot of things coming. We're probably going to get some new training rerolls. Um, I don't know if golden tickets will go straight to the TVP or not. It's going to be very, very interesting to see. But make sure you guys are all taking pictures of all your big pulls because I think King of the Packs might be a very crazy one next week. So make sure you guys are getting your submissions in right on Friday when I release it. And I appreciate all you guys for still participating, man. That was a good little submissions right there. Make sure you guys hit the like, hit the sub, put on post notice, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream, man. It has been real. Peace.